So it's been an interesting start to our new club here at Grenoble in Ligue 1 uh, after the first uh, victory on the day we arrived at the club. Uh, we lost to Olympic Marseille uh, three to two goals from Nicholas Martin and Jacques Nagano. And then we beat Lil three to two in front of 50,000 away fans, Aziz Marty, Frank Gomez, and Eusebio Martinez. With the goals, Martinez came in the 95th minute to uh, give us the victory. So today we have the Euro Cup doubleheader highlights from the away leg against Club Bruges, and then we'll play. Uh, we'll have highlights from Shadowrow, and then we'll play Club Bruges here on camera. So let's roll the intro and get to it. This is episode two of our Bielsa Journeyman. We are on Club 5 Grenoble in League Un. There we go. I was waiting to see what was going to happen there. Uh, in the 38th minute, Club Bruges gets a through ball, a big save by Rune, but it goes right back to Vranken, and he puts back the second chance effort. Uh, pretty evenly matched affair. We had the advantage on shots, 10% 10, 10 on time of possession. And, uh, yeah, we let this one get away. Uh, Rune was named uh, player of the match with nine shot saves. Aziz Marty went out for eight days, uh, or he's out eight more days, with a uh, pulled groin in that match. And Gazelle will be out just a couple of days uh, with a tight thigh. So that gives us the one uh disadvantage. Luckily, it was an away leg. So we need, do need to come back and win the home leg against Club Bruges if we're going to advance out of the second knockout round. Let's come right back for Shadowrow highlights in the league. I figured we'd come back and do the draws just in case. So let's go ahead and do the draws. This would be for the quarterfinals. <clears throat> and it will be the winner of our matchup with Club Bruges taking on Sausalo or Atletico Bilbao. And then in the semifinals, it would be our our uh, segment of the of the draw against uh, Sturmgras, Getafe, Crystal Palace, or Besiktas. So there is the draw for the semifinals. The Grenoble board has put in 1.1 million to help with running the club costs. That's nice of them. Uh, of course, we are pretty far down monetarily. Not through any fault of mine. I've only been here for a handful of games. Taking on Chateau. This was a club early in this save that I was uh, looking at, but uh, did not go after or did not get the job. I don't remember. Uh, through ball to Martin, and he puts us up 1-0 in the 61st minute. After a long scoreless affair, it would not stay that way. Fran gets beaten by Vega over the top, and Rune comes out, and he gets the ball played behind him. The equalizer in the 68th minute. In the 83rd minute, still deadlocked at one, Green, uh, Gomez cuts it inside and then goes all the way back to the back post, giving us a 2-1 to one advantage. Just one minute later, Venucci cuts it inside, lays it off, and it's Vega beating Fran again for another equalizer. 85th minute, Grenoble 2. The rebound to, from Gomez's shot goes back to Gomez, and he puts us up in the 90th minute. And it was Shadero falling to us 3-2. to two. That is great. Quinonez. Uh, is one appearance away from a trigger clause. I just think it's classless to ask guys to waive that. I, I would never do that. Gomez with two goals. Good job for him. And that was a pretty big victory for us. So that puts us back up into eighth in the table. Uh, three points out of Europe for next season. So, you know, we've gotten, we've gotten the ship righted here rather quickly. A uh, couple of losses, just one league loss. You know, we're not where we're going to be at the end of things. But just coming in and taking over what was already here 
at the club. We've done a great job. Let's come right back for the second leg match with Club Bruges. A lot riding on this one. All right. Well, Carlos Godoy has uh, raised some concerns about me. Well, he's played in, going back to when I started, he has played in four matches, four of five. I don't know what he's worried about, but he uh, he is frustrated that I may have ended his international career after he was left out of Uruguay's squad to face Brazil and Chile. I don't make up the Uruguay squad. How, how is this my fault? <laughs> 12,000 tickets out of 20,000 sold, so not even a sellout. Well, it... <laughs> I screwed up, I guess. It didn't actually let me select the team. So we're going with Rune, Quinones, Godoy, Gallus, Fran. Uh, the <laughs> same club that we just had. Uh, let's uh, hands in pocket. We owe, for, we owe them. Oh, boy. It's not a time to botch up your, uh, your, your squad here. Let's go ahead and encourage them. We're at home. Quinones picks up a yellow card in the 10th minute. Encourage again. We don't have anything going in the way of highlights. They are they're playing a 4-2-3-1, so they're not... Wow, we're going to go the whole first half without a highlight. That was interesting. First half was not good enough. All right, let's, uh, let's encourage them again. All right, good do God be... Godoy, not Godby. Godoy, Gallus, Fran. Garcia, good through ball to Gazelle. Couple of triangles. Quinonez on the overlap. Beats his man and tries to slot it into the box. Just fell short. There's Nagano. Oh, he's taken down in the box. That's going to be a foul. The announcer thinks it's harsh. They're going to look at VAR, I suppose, here. Yep, they're reviewing it with VAR. And they do give the penalty. Who is going to step up to take it? It's Pekernan. Wow, one of our new players. And he didn't move. He could have went and put that ball in, couldn't he? It hit both uprights. Oh, man. All right, Nagano through Martin. What a save by Zuma. Come on, corner. Near post, another huge save by Zuma. Oh, man. Pekaranen, it's in there, near post. Fourth goal of the season for Dragon, a 30-yard strike. That's got to be up for goal of the season honors. And that puts us up 1-0, and it's an equalizer. What a finish. What a finish. Let's encourage him some more. All right. Come on, fellas. All right. We're going to make a couple of subs here. Pekaranen is playing really well. Now, everybody's playing pretty decent. I'm going to bring Pesty on for Martinez, mainly because Martinez is not playing well. We're going to bring Gomez on for Heckernan. All right, confirm the subs. Near post, and they've equalized and gotten the away goal. So we need two goals now, if, I, if my math is correct. That's the worst thing that could happen we're gonna go attacking gomez for gazelle i just don't have the squad that i want i don't think crossed in poor cross gallus into quinones Squared in. There's the finish by Gomez. And the sub gets his fifth of the season. We've gone up 2-1. Two 2-2 two to two on aggregate. 
but they have the away goal, and I think that's going to be the difference. We need another goal. Net a clue. Head it out. Come on, fellas. Oh, there's a through ball and net a clue. Oh, that just ripped my heart out. Two away goals. We need two in 15. I just don't think we're going to get this done. All right. If we get one here, it at least makes it interesting. He steps over. Poor finish. All right, let's see what I can do here. Not a lot. Uh, shoot on sight. Let's not overlap anymore. Oh, this is going to be one hell of a way to lose. I thought getting that one goal might. And we have been by far the dominant team. Only three shots, two on target, and they've scored them both. Nagano. Oh, it deflected. Had a shot to go in. We're going to get the corner out of it. Uh, I was hoping to get something at the near post there. Demand more. They're just clearing it out. And that's going to be it. We are going to fall in this one. Three to two on aggregate. I think they had away goals as well. It's unacceptable. No excuses can be made. I don't know how far we were supposed to make it. Hopefully that's not a horrible, not greeted with too much disappointment. So... Reach the second knockout round. So we did that. So we've done what we were supposed to. We pick up 1.29 million. It would have been nice to have had another round to get some more money. We need money, man. We need a lot of money. All right. Well, that is going to end this episode. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you for the next episode. Uh, kind of want to just finish out this season. Uh, what I'm going to be looking for is trying to qualify for Europe. So we'll probably come back, I would think, one more episode somewhere right in the middle here. Monaco would have been an interesting one. And then we'll finish up with Rhymes and Nantes. Nantes. Got to check some of these pronunciations. All right, guys. Well, let's come back for the next one and get towards the end of this season and see how we finish up if we can salvage. Remember, we just joined the day that we played Gwine Comp, so we've got three wins, one draw, two losses uh, in the six matches. So we haven't done real bad. We've, you know, we've done a good thing, but we've got a little bit of ground to try to make up still. We'll see you next episode. Bye.